We're getting data that no one's ever been able to get on any rhino species. It is the next major step in the desperate plan to save the northern white rhino from extinction. There are only three, if you can believe that, left in the world. But scientists at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park hope to change that. That's sad. 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky has tracked the project for more than two years now, and he got the first look at how the new research is being done. These six southern white rhinos behind me all have something in common besides taking naps together. Soon they could all become surrogate mothers to save their cousins, the northern white rhino, from extinction. Good girl. This rhino could be a life-saving hero. Although right now she's doing what rhinos usually do, eat. When we hear her munching like that, we know that she's happy, she's content. Content even though Victoria the rhino is going through a procedure. This is a little bit um, more intimate than some people have in mind. Dr. Barbara Durant needs to study Victoria's ovaries, so she's doing an ultrasound. But the only way that we can actually see the ovaries in the rhino is by getting close enough to them by going through the rectum. It's a bit difficult for both of them. Yeah, me too, Victoria. <laughs> but it's critical to Dr. Durant's plan. Two years ago in her lab, she told me the Jurassic Park sounding idea fertilize the northern white reproductive materials in the lab, then use in vitro fertilization to put the fertilized egg in a southern white rhino, turning her into a surrogate mother. And eventually what we would like is to have a northern white rhino herd that's self-sustaining back in Africa. For the plan to work, Dr. Durant needs to understand everything she can about the southern white's reproductive cycle. That's where the ultrasound comes in. She showed me the images. Each one of these dark spots is a follicle. Inside every one of those follicles is an egg. By doing these tests, they'll know exactly the right moment to do the insemination when they're ready to try it with the northern white egg. While Victoria got a shower, I asked Dr. Durant how she explains her job at dinner parties. I don't give those details right up front. I, I wait to see how interested they really are and sort of assess whether they can take it or not, you know. A little awkward, but all worth it to bring the northern white rhino back from the brink. At the San Diego Zoo Safari Park, Jeff Lasky, 10 News. Dead. Oh, that is dedication. Kudos to Dr. Durant. This project still has a long way to go. Dr. Durant tells us the best case scenario, a northern white rhino could be born eight years from now. There's a lot more from our interview with Dr. Durant. We're posting it with the story on 10news.com.